In our Spotlight on Business report tonight, it's a gamble Atlantic City is willing to make, creating a new tourism economy around cannabis. The state's Casino City is opening two medical cannabis dispensaries and two consumption lounges later this year. Those cannabis lounges, an effort to attract people to the tourist city for a whole new experience. And as Raven Santana reports, the industry will also focus on giving back to Atlantic City, a community that's been harmed by the war on drugs. How would you define cannabis hospitality and tourism? You no longer need to be a regular at a casino to be considered a high roller. That's because Atlantic City will be home to two medical dispensaries and two consumption lounges this summer. Rob Mejia, who is a teaching specialist in cannabis studies at Stockton University, served as a moderator for a webinar focused on turning Atlantic City into a cannabis tourism destination. So two of the biggest dispensaries and biggest consumption lounges in the state of New Jersey are going to be right in Atlantic City. So there is one company uh, called Agrikind, and they are remodeling the Claridge Hotel. The Claridge Hotel is roughly 10,000 square feet. So you're going to have a 10,000 square foot dispensary, and then you'll have a, a, a consumption lounge upstairs that's about the same size. That is a lot of space. And then you also have right across from the Hard Rock, you'll have a facility called Endo that'll be run by Faye Coleman. And she has a 4,000 square foot dispensary and she'll have a 4,000 square foot consumption lounge upstairs that is a combination of an indoor and an outdoor facility. In both cases, private parties can rent those areas. And I think today everyone has a better idea and understanding in terms of what cannabis can bring, uh, not just to tourism, but to patients. Uh, as we see it medically as something of need from a medicinal standpoint for our patients and consumers. But sometimes we just have consumers that just want to have a good experience. Faye Coleman is owner of Endo, one of two of those dispensaries and consumption lounges anticipated to open this summer. So we will absolutely be looking to hire locally uh, and we will also be hiring uh, through reentry programs. 30% of our jobs will come through reentry programs. So it's important that we just not reach back uh, to just within the community, those who are surrounding us, but all of us who have been involved uh, in the cannabis uh, industry in some way, whether positive or negative, because we need to bring everybody forward successfully. It's the travel industry, the hotels, the attractions, airports, rental car companies, the entire visitor economy, understanding what cannabis is today, um, which is a very, it's rapidly innovating and evolving. Um, as well as the cannabis stakeholders understanding what it means to be an attraction and an experience for visitors to a destination, which is a different lens that goes above and beyond a transaction. Brian Applegarth is the founder of the Cannabis Travel Association International, which promotes the development of safe and responsible cannabis tourism. And for those that don't know what this is, it's really kind of righting the wrongs from the war on drugs and those marginalized communities that were negatively impacted and targeted and oftentimes incarcerated um, when cannabis was illegal. We will be the East Coast hub for uh, cannabis. We have been champions for lounges since the day it's been legal. Atlantic City's Kashan McKinley is Director of Constituent Services and Special Projects for the city. McKinley says despite originally receiving pushback from some city leaders about the future of cannabis tourism, he says cannabis education and a vision sealed the deal. We want you to purchase your cannabis here. We want you to consume it here. We want you to check out a festival here, a convention here, go to one of our state-of-the-art facilities here. Knowing we are a unique town, we have 17,000 rooms. 98% or 95% of those rooms are in the casino, so they're federally regulated. So where will the people be able to smoke at? They can't smoke outdoors and they can't smoke in casinos. So we want to make sure that our consumption lounges are safe, they are you know, friendly, and they are state-of-the-art lounges that people can enjoy cannabis in Atlantic City. The two dispensaries and consumption lounges are only the beginning of this grand vision. They expect to see more marijuana-based businesses applying for licenses as Atlantic City rolls the dice yet again to attract new visitors. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana. Support for the Business Report provided by the Chamber of Commerce Southern New Jersey. Working for economic prosperity by uniting business and community leaders for 150 years. Membership and event information online at chambersnj.com.